Hi there, I'm Holly McDonald with the Costa Mesa Pod, where we talk about all things concerning the lifestyle, events, businesses, and activities that make Costa Mesa such a great place to live. Today, I am joined by Kim of Wax RX, and she's here today to tell us a little bit about her business and what she brings to Costa Mesa. So, Kim, yeah, so nice to have you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so tell um, tell the audience a little bit about Wax RX. I mean, what do you guys do here? <laughs> so, I have a full body waxing business. Um, here in Costa Mesa, basically, I just focus on um, destigmatizing body hair and uplifting women. Um, however, I can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so you provide services for men and women. And what are you? What would you say are your most popular services? Um, definitely Brazilian, which is one of the most tricky, but uh, definitely the most rewarding. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then probably eyebrows. It just makes people feel so much better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And how long have you been um, in business? Um, so I have been a waxer for almost four years, but I've had Wax RX for almost two. Uh-huh. So. Okay, and you are located in Costa Mesa, kind of over by the lab in the camp mm-hmm. area, um, in a really cool, quiet facility. Yeah. Um, how do you like it here? I love it here. I love that there's a lot of parking, yeah. and it's super easy to find, and we're near so much that people can go grab a bike, grab a coffee after, and yeah. just kind of hang out. Yeah, it's a really good location. I know mm-hmm. there's a lot of other um, smaller businesses in this community, mm-hmm. too, so... Um, so what made you get into this business? I really loved waxing from the get-go. Yeah. And I, I've always been a people person. I love talking to people. So it was just super easy for me to uh, start getting like a normal nine to five. Just do this and really just be able to have a conversation more than focus on like what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. And so I guess one thing I wanted to ask you, because obviously Costa Mesa, our area of Orange County is really into like the health and wellness yeah. space. Um, so obviously you have a lot of competition. Mm-hmm. But what what do you feel like sets Wax X apart from other um, salons and studios where people could go and get this type of service? Yeah. So um, I mean, I obviously I love supporting small businesses. I think a lot of people are shifting more towards that, which is mm-hmm. so awesome to support us instead of bigger corporations. We appreciate that like yeah. so much. But uh, I just love the connection between everyone. I think it's great that I can come in here not be stressed about my day and just really have a really good conversation with my clients and not really have to worry about them, you know, wondering what's going on. (laughs) Yeah. I think um, Orange County in general tends to be a lot of like entrepreneurs and people that are in business for themselves. So it is really great that, you know, everybody can kind of support one another Mm -hmm. in doing what fulfills them. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So it's really cool that this is how you fell into it. Um, why Costa Mesa? Are you from here or what? Um, I am not from here. I'm actually from New York. Okay. Um, I had moved out here about four years ago. Um, I just love this area it's right by the beach. I think everyone is just kind of reaching for those personal care services. Um, they want to look their best and feel their best. Um, so I think I'll basically stay in this area forever if I can. <laughs> Did you move to Costa Mesa or do you live nearby? No, I, I live in Costa Mesa. Yeah, uh, all four years. <laughs> okay. I'm from the East Coast here. I'm oh, cool. New Jersey, but I've been out here for a little while and... Mm-hmm was in LA initially and then moved down to Orange Very County cool. and really liked that it kind of does have like the smaller like suburban feel yeah, yeah. that a lot of the East Coast has but yeah. then yeah you really can't beat the weather no. and the lifestyle <laughs> not at all <laughs> yeah well very cool yeah, yeah Costa Mesa is a really it's a hip spot too mm-hmm. I think everyone just wants to put their best foot forward here <laughs> definitely so kind of run through some of the services I mean you know you talked about the Brazilians mm-hmm. and the eyebrows but I saw on your website, like, there's a ton of services. I, literally, I tell people, anything I can do that that you can think of head to toe, we can get it done. Yeah. <laughs> and then, is um, is your studio, do you have a lot of people working for you? Is, it's just me here. Okay. Um, I mean, eventually, I definitely think I want to do, like, my own, like, storefront and stuff. Um, probably within, like, the next couple years, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just because I'm still, like, a bit smaller. I'm still yeah. growing my books every day. Um, but, yeah, definitely would love to have people eventually work for me. But for now, just a woman in a <laughs> No, well, that's great because then people who, um, you know, make appointments here, like, you are the face of the business. Yeah. You are the person they're going to be interacting with. So they kind of know what they're going to get. Absolutely, yeah. I try to convey it as much as possible through, like, my social medias and stuff. Yeah. But it's really just me running the whole thing. But I enjoy every moment. So, yeah, and one of the things I like about, um, like, I, I follow you on Instagram, mm-hmm. and you provide, I mean, obviously, Instagram is very, like, photo-heavy, so yes. there's some, some things you really, you know, they're not going to be photogenic mm-hmm. for what you do, <laughs> but some things are going to be amazing, but you do have a lot of great tips and whatnot. I try my best, yeah, yeah to just make it, like, you're not going to walk in here having a million questions, and mm-hmm. also there's so much stigma around waxing and, like, how scary it is and things, yeah. like, how painful people imagine it can be, yeah. um, so it's nice to at least take some 
away from that and I'll post funny memes, just funny pictures and make people kind of like know me better too. <laughs> yeah. So um what would you say are some of the like misconceptions or fears that people do have um coming here? So the main thing is mostly the pain. You have movies like four year old virgin that yeah. make you think that, you know, you're you're gonna pass out on the table. But I try my best to make uh it all about basically just the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I mean throughout the years that I've been doing this just really like focusing on my technique and making sure that it's not about that yeah. and we really can just like relax and can actually be enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people are kind of freaked out by the pain, especially, especially men. Like, Which I understand. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. So it's good, but also uh, you had tips about like different ways you could prepare before mm -hmm. you come in definitely. to minimize either the pain or the anxiety or mm -hmm. just like what to expect here. Yeah, that's huge because I feel like a lot of the times if you go to like a bigger corporation, they're not really focused on that. They're really just kind of about the in and out getting the service done. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd rather take my time and have people have the best experience that they can with me because yeah. um, I, I try my best every day for that. So what would somebody expect if they came here? Like would, would they plan to be like in a waiting room that's crowded and have to wait a long time on um, do the services take an ex extreme amount of time or yeah I want to hear a little <laughs> bit about that because I know for me personally like whenever I go somewhere it's kind of like you know our time is so valuable so yeah. I kind of want to know okay is this something where I'm going to be like three hours like <laughs> if I didn't have lunch before of like course. you know that kind of stuff <laughs> so what I like to do is since it's such a personal experience, yeah. um, I always like to bring people at the door. I literally stand there, wait for them, hey, how you doing? Bring them into my room. I let them get undressed or whatever they have to do. Give them just really clear instructions, how they need to hop up on the table and anything like that. Yeah. Um, and if it's your first time, I kind of walk you through the process, um, starting from like everywhere I'm prepping their skin and everything like that, um, to even the way that I'm laying the strips, um, just to make sure that, yeah, the anxiety is like reduced as much as possible. Yeah. Um, but I really just focus on that conversation the most, and I feel like that's takes people's mind off of the pain yeah. for the most part. I mean, I have things like stress balls and <laughs> tips, like you said, um, to help out. But definitely, I just try my best to just talk them through everything. And that's one of the, the best compliments I can get is, oh, it really didn't hurt that much. And I, I feel like you talking, you know, made yeah. it so much more enjoyable. That's the best compliment I can ever get. <laughs> yeah, you're like a doctor, like trying to get a shot and like I'm just talking, exactly. talking, talking. And then yeah. you realize you did right. it. Yeah. In terms of services, um, most of my services take 15 minutes. So it's really quick. You basically get here and in and out literally in 15 minutes checked out and everything so I try <laughs> well that's really good for people and because you are running the show yourself I'm sure you're not like triple quadruple <laughs> no, like that. no definitely not anymore yeah. I've, I've been in that situation before I've worked places where yeah. you are completely booked back to back like that but going on my own I just wanted to focus more on the person and not the service itself Nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's great when people become more like people and individuals and less yeah. of a, a number. I mean, obviously, it's, it all works together. But of <laughs> yeah. So um, I noticed too that you do some collaborations. Yeah, like, I do. What, what would you say are some of like the um, collaboration like methods or groups that you you know would work together with? I'm assuming it's mostly like health wellness. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So the giveaways, I try to do as many giveaways as possible because I mean we are in a luxury business yeah. so of course it is like so amazing that people will be able to stick with you month after month year after year um so i try to do as many as possible i've done giveaways with um one of my uh, favorite people my lash girl self-care club ashley she's great yeah. and then i also just did one with my facial girl that's mm -hmm. gianna aesthetics um and they're just two great people that become friends yeah um i mean over time and yeah i, I try to just do as many as possible i have another one coming up in december okay. but we really just want to give back and try to help each other out and i think it's it's great that we can really just become friends based off of that through social media basically <laughs> oh yeah totally i think a lot of people are making friendships off of social yeah, media now great. i love it <laughs> so with the holiday and whatnot coming up, you aside from the collaborations and the contests and whatnot, do you have anything special coming up that you want to um, share or pitch or like? Are are these good gifts? Like, you know, like what, what can we say about yeah, that? Yeah, I love doing um, for the giveaways and things like that. I also do like gift cards and stuff. I'll always have people that will be like, "Hey, I want to uh, pay for my wife's service." I'll be like, "Absolutely, I love that." Yeah. Um, for yeah, you hear that? Joe? <laughs> Please go ahead and do that. <laughs> it makes me happy. Makes them happy. Um, but then also for November, I'm going to do a non-perishable food drive um, just because, I mean, people that are coming in here anyway, um, they're spending that money. If they just want to spend a couple dollars, grab something, yeah. and I uh, just want to give back. Just do something that I can that's not 
um, service based completely. So. Yeah, no, that's really, really nice. And mm-hmm. especially like this time of year, that is something that's on a lot of people's yeah, minds. Yeah, it's, it's super important. I want everyone to feel like included. And since this is such like a luxury thing, not everyone's going to be able to wax and afford these services. I want to be able to do something and give back any way that I can. That's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you bring this wonderful business to Costa Mesa so people can reach out and find you. And I'm sure that people um, come from all areas, obviously. Yeah. Just, you are very centrally located. Yeah. You're right by the airport. You're by Irvine. You're, you know, everywhere on the freeway. Mm-hmm. Basically, people can find you. Pretty easy. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you are right, though. We do live in an area, you know, it's it's pretty wealthy, and people do have the extra income for these Definitely. types of services, yeah. and it's something that is important to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense that you would have this business here. <laughs> so I'm um, close to Mesa. It's lucky to have you. you. <laughs> and um, how can people find you? Um, so mostly just Instagram is my yeah. main thing, um, wax.rx. Um, but then I'm Google, Yelp, any really where <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Well, your Instagram's really cool. I love Thank the you. name of your business. Thank it's you super so creative. <laughs> um, and it, you know, totally makes sense too. So yeah, it's a no brainer. I, I basically based that name off of uh, people being like, Oh my god, waxing is like I need it so badly and some people really like think that it's just like their number one thing. So oh. I was like, Oh, it's kind of like a prescription almost like they desperately need it so I came up with wax rx in that sense so oh, that is so cool <laughs> that totally makes sense yeah it's like your daily pop or whatever or your yeah basically. yeah so cool well everybody if you want to have any waxing services done like she said he mm-hmm. does everything pretty much by the show on uh, <laughs> uh, because some things are more popular than others but you can come give her a try um yeah. she's got some great tips on her instagram and obviously giveaways and whatnot too so you know, feel free to buy some gifts for your friends too. Yes, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> All right, well, Kim, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> yeah.